Hi, I'm Megan Hamrock, and I'm going to be talking about magnesium and its role as an essential micronutrient in human health. Magnesium is an essential mineral, a micronutrient found in many different plant species that humans can eat. Essential means that the body can't make a nutrient on its own. That nutrient must come from the diet. We need magnesium like a handyman needs a hammer and nails. And the toolbox is our diet, the foods that we eat every day. The bottom line, magnesium is a vital ingredient to a healthy life, and here's why. The human body needs magnesium for so many reasons, mostly including activities going on inside the body every day that we aren't even consciously aware of. For example, magnesium is involved of hundreds of enzymatic reactions, many of which are needed for metabolism, such as breaking down nutrients to make energy, as well as the opposite, using energy to make things that the body needs. Magnesium is also needed to synthesize DNA and RNA, the genetic material that writes the code for our body's proteins. Magnesium is also important for muscle contraction and relaxation, healthy heart rhythms, and bone health. The list goes on and on. It's clear that magnesium is needed all over the body for a variety of activities. Some of these supportive roles manifest in ways that we physically experience, such as helping the body cope with stress, supporting a healthy mood, and increasing energy. In addition, higher dietary magnesium intake has been linked to supporting nervous and immune health, bone health and muscle function, and reducing the risk of disease. On the other hand, if we don't consume enough magnesium in the diet, we face the consequences. Unfortunately, magnesium is under-consumed by most Americans, and magnesium deficiency is associated with several health problems, such as heart conditions, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, bone health, and mood issues. The diversity and the volume of health conditions impacted by our magnesium status reinforces just how important and widespread this essential mineral really is. Data from 2013 to 2016's National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey shows that just under half of all Americans consume less magnesium than they need. NHANES is a group of studies that aims to evaluate the health and nutritional status of adults and children in the United States. The Food and Nutrition Board at the Institute of Medicine sets dietary reference intakes for nutrients like magnesium. The recommended dietary allowance of magnesium varies based on sex, age, and pregnancy and lactation status. For example, the RDA for males between 19 and 30 years old is 400 milligrams of magnesium per day, and 310 milligrams for females. There are simple ways in which we can increase our consumption of magnesium and improve our overall health. Steady intake and adequate magnesium levels help our bodies thrive all the way down to the cellular level. Magnesium is found in a ton of different fruits, vegetables, and other foods. For example, you can find magnesium in legumes, such as kidney beans, lentils, and peanuts, nuts and seeds like pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, almonds, and cashews, produce such as spinach, kale, and dates, whole grains like oats, spelt, and buckwheat, dairy products such as Parmesan and feta cheese, and meat, including chicken and turkey. Reaching your daily dose of magnesium is best done through a diet based on whole foods. A day full of consuming proper magnesium levels may look like this. For breakfast, you have a bowl of oatmeal topped with fresh berries and pumpkin seeds. At lunch, you eat a grilled turkey breast with a side of stewed lentils and roasted broccoli. As a snack, you grab a handful of mixed nuts and an apple. And for dinner, you whip up some spinach pesto pasta topped with feta cheese. Getting enough magnesium can be healthy, easy, and tasty. Unfortunately, like I said earlier, many people in the United States don't get enough magnesium in the diet. Deficiency in magnesium is likely common due to the lack of nutrients in many foods that are found in the standard American diet which often lacks fresh fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, and instead relies on too much processed foods. Food that's been overly processed is often stripped of its nutrition, meaning you're not getting enough nutrients, like magnesium, even if you feel full after a meal. Thinking about the diverse group of magnesium-containing foods I listed earlier, it may be difficult to understand how magnesium deficiency could be so widespread, even when you account for the standard American diet. 
Another relevant component of the magnesium deficiency story is the declining nutrient content of soil, and thus declining nutrient content of the foods grown in that soil. Due to some modern agricultural practices that have promoted a loss of soil biodiversity, the average handful of soil is just not as nutritious as a handful from decades past. So one person's oatmeal with berries and seeds from today may have a much lower level of magnesium than the same meal 50 years ago. Fortunately, organic and sustainable farming helps support healthy biodiversity of our soil, leading to the production of more nutrient-dense plant-based foods. Additionally, whole food supplements, like those with magnesium, can supply the extra magnesium we need to meet our daily quota for good health. Magnesium supplements can be found in many different forms, typically varying in regards to the bioavailability and volume of elemental magnesium. Magnesium in its elemental state is naturally unstable, and the body absorbs magnesium more efficiently when it's bound to various organic and inorganic compounds, including amino acids and other minerals. Some common forms of magnesium found in supplements include magnesium that is bound to citrate, oxide, glycinate, threonate, aspartate, and lactate. Synthetic magnesium supplements may include some of these different forms to target different health issues. However, magnesium absorption is complicated. It varies depending on a handful of factors. Two of the most significant factors impacting magnesium absorption include what form of magnesium is bound to, as well as the individual's magnesium status. Some forms may be more biologically available in the human body, but have lower levels of elemental magnesium. Others may have the opposite, lower availability and higher elemental magnesium. And in general, magnesium absorption will increase if current magnesium levels are low and vice versa, which makes sense. Many consider plant-based magnesium to be ideal as it consists of a variety of natural magnesium forms. A benefit of the optimal absorption associated with plant-based magnesium is reducing the likelihood of undesirable side effects in the GI tract. Many synthetic magnesium supplements contain magnesium content well above the RDA in a single capsule. With such a high single dose, all of the magnesium that's not absorbed increases the potential of GI side effects. Above a certain threshold dose of magnesium, which is about 200 to 500 milligrams, GI discomfort may occur in the form of bloating, cramping, or diarrhea. The occurrence and severity of these side effects varies depending on the form of magnesium, as well as the individual's current GI health status. In humans, magnesium intake is regulated through three key mechanisms. Absorption by the gut, filtration, reabsorption, and excretion through the kidneys, and nutrient exchange of the reservoir of magnesium found in bone. Between 25 and 75% of magnesium consumed in the diet is absorbed by the gut, but the absorption greatly depends on the supply of magnesium currently present in the body. So you might absorb more magnesium if your magnesium supply is currently low, and you might absorb less magnesium if your magnesium supply is high. The kidneys filter 2.4 grams of magnesium per day. Wow. If you've been paying attention, you've noticed that 2.4 grams is much greater than the average individual's RDA. That's because your body doesn't immediately absorb or utilize all of the magnesium that you consume. The kidneys reabsorb approximately 95% of magnesium that flows through its filtration systems, and the rest is excreted in urine. Because of this regulation, our urine is a great indicator of our magnesium levels in our body. If magnesium intake is low, our kidneys will increase reabsorption and release less magnesium in the urine. On the other hand, if we have an excess of magnesium, we will excrete more in our urine, which would then be indicated by urinary magnesium levels. In addition to these regulatory mechanisms, there are six key factors that potentially contribute to magnesium deficiency. First, of course, reduced dietary intake of magnesium. Also, reduced absorption of magnesium in the GI tract due to GI conditions, vitamin D deficiency, or certain medications. Increased magnesium requirements due to health conditions such as being pregnant or stressed. Excessive sweating through vigorous exercise. Increased renal loss of magnesium due to diabetes, alcohol, kidney disease, or certain medications. 
And lastly, GI loss of magnesium through diarrhea and laxatives. Magnesium deficiencies are so common due to the standard American diet consisting mostly of convenient processed foods. Incorporating more organic, whole foods, and reducing processed and fast foods will set you up for a natural increase in magnesium. In addition to more whole foods, one may also take a magnesium supplement to meet their daily needs. Magnesium plays a huge role in whole body health. And now that we have this information, we can go out and be more conscious of our magnesium intake and appreciate the remarkable things that it does for us. For more information about magnesium and other nutrients, visit holisticmatters.com. This educational platform has a diverse assortment of material, including articles on vitamins, minerals, and overall health and wellness, animated videos and lectures from industry experts, monthly podcast episodes, infographics available for download, and more. Create a profile on holisticmatters.com in seconds and gain access to the wonders of being the you nature intended. <music>